let's all just try to be very forgiving and everybody love each other, okay? I had to put grown men in time out today. Yeah, drama equals no job. I call it shady wood. One of my favorite areas. Man, God, I used to drive up and down these streets just looking for houses. My heart would start racing back in the day, driving through here. There was so much, because the, the opportunity, man. Yeah, I love it. I mean, prices have quadrupled. Um. <laughs> I drive by houses that I flipped years ago and I was like, oh my God, they need to be flipped again. <laughs> what about this conversation is gonna be awkward for you? Is it well, because you're your friends or what? Well, I do all this shelving. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not, I didn't call you to bypass the middleman. Um, I called you because my stager used you on her shower door and your price seemed more reasonable than what I'm paying. And I, I, at the volume of, of, of doors that I'm putting in, I would think that I'd be getting a better price if a better price is out there. Um, so I'm gonna, call, uh, I'm gonna call and get prices and if you want a shot of my business, I would love to um, have you price something for me. My shower door guy, he uses him, I didn't, I didn't know this, but he uses him to put my shelving in. So, and I, I like my, uh, the guys I use a lot. They could not be any nicer, but I really feel like, like I'm paying, you know, two to, two to $300 too much on every door. And, you know, let's say I do 200 doors a year. 200 times 300. A 60 grand. That starts adding up, man. Hey, Amigo, help me real quick, buddy. Where's Nicholas? He's not here? Okay. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, is that leaking all the time? Ask Alex to fix it when he gets here. Okay? Okay. All right, everything good though? Yeah. Thank you. See you. I need everybody to know that I'm, I'm just a few minutes from stopping in there at any given moment. It just keeps people moving, anticipating me to pull up any minute. I don't want to catch anybody napping in their cars. You know? And that does happen sometimes at lunchtime because some workers take their lunch seriously, like, you know, taking a, is it a, a siesta? Energy's contagious, don't you think? Totally. Yeah, and, and, and I do spit out some high energy. Hi. Hi. I think you need to get three bags of sacrete and get uh, Jonathan to come over here at some point over to uh, Southview and that big asshole in the middle of the driveway. Okay. We need to make as level and pretty as we can, okay? He needs to take like three of these big rocks out and then, and then put one, two, three, four bags of sacrete in here. Okay? And just smooth it out really nice and then he needs to put something around it so when the pitcher guy comes, um, he won't drive up in here, okay? All right, buddy, bye. These handrails look good, don't they? Knock, knock! Knock, knock! Y'all going number one or number two? <laughs> one, baby, one. How's it going? Good. Everything good? How you good. Uh, so tell me, what y'all measure last? Yeah. In Malkenburg. 
Okay. And that's it. Okay. Hey, there's some, I really think Eduardo should have put some pine straw on this hill. And I don't think we have time to get him out here, but there's some limbs on this hill we need to pick up too, okay? Okay. But this pea gravel has got to be in place in the, in the next hour. I just think you need to put everything else on hold and you need to get about 20 bags or 25 bags of pea gravel and get those guys over here as soon as possible and put pea gravel where you walk out this back deck. Okay. The back door. We can't have you this. Right yeah, just, I mean, load it up and make it look pretty, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so get him to meet you here quick because our picture guy's gonna be here at 12. Um, these registers look really bad. He put those in there just for pictures. I know, but in the future, we've got to be on top of this and cover up some of these and then rerun them up on this baseboard. It looks kind of bad. It's about to go active, but I'm surprised nobody picked up on that. I haven't been here in, in a while. I see a lot of things that, that that I think just is acceptable, but I see some things that are not. For some reason, everything, everybody else has missed. Yeah. But so like, like uh, Ross has been through this house a thousand times. Noah's been through this house a thousand times. And then all the subs and all the workers been through it a thousand times. And um, there's still just a few more things. And I don't like the identity of having two tables in the same room. It looks like, like a lunch room. Doesn't it? And Allison usually, but Allison did he, uh, text me and say, hey, what do you want me to do with this space? What I would have done is I would have put the dining room right there so we could always move one light to over here without any problem. And then I'd make this all the living room. That's probably what I would do. But you know, maybe whoever buys this thing wants a formal type dining room and an a, and a, and a eat-in kitchen for the kids. I think it looks really good though. I really do. I'd say this first time home buyer in Vestavia or maybe a second uh, upgrade, right? So um, probably a small family, good neighborhood, good schools. Probably like a 340 range, 350 range. What's up? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Well, you need to be finding some flips, what you need to be doing. I hey, know. you do have one house to sell for real though. What? Um, Southview. That back patio area was terrible, so I've got some guys coming right now to put some, um, to put some pea gravel back there, okay? Okay, I was wondering about that. Yeah. And tell your picture guy, picture guy to park in the street. Okay, I'll tell him. I'm sure he won't do that anyway, just to get and stuff, you know, but, um, Courtney, are you at a yeah. uh, are you um, at a daycare? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? Oh, uh, you at? Oh, I love it. Okay, cool. All right, please find me some flips. Okay. I don't need you sleeping or, or resting. Yeah, knock on some doors. All right, thank you. So on the shower door guy, um, I did some shopping and um, I realized that his pricing was actually really good. In this business, you have to check pricing and check with other vendors, seeing uh, if you're getting a good deal. Quick service is really important to me also. So um, uh, I don't always look for the cheapest guy. I look for the best guy who has a competitive price. He's helped us for about six years and I've never had one problem with him. So. I think I'm gonna stick with my guy. I tell you what, that house right there, that's an ugly brick. That would be a great house. Flip. That house needs to be flipped. Woo! Damn. Hey, look, I flipped that house. Hey, let me just show y'all. I flipped that house right there. Okay, so that one. That one next door. And this one to the left. I would say in that neighborhood we were just in, including Roebuck Springs and Shadywood, I flipped at least 60 houses in there. Crazy, isn't it? 
Hello. Hey. Hey. The photographer saying uh, that, um, well, for one, the vent, he, he doesn't even think you'll notice him in the picture, so okay. he'll, he'll take care of him if it needs to happen, but he doesn't think you're even going to notice him. Two, um, he can, like, virtually put in the pea gravel if, if it's the exact same stuff as what's back here already, but I didn't know if it would be the exact same stuff. Are they over there now doing it? Yeah, yeah. Is that all you're going to do? Okay, where do you want pea gravel at? It just looks like it hasn't been done yet. Huh? Oh, you just put it right around the front door. No! The back door. Yes, the back door. Do you want more of it done? I just don't think it looks that great. What did Eduardo say? God, I haven't talked to him. I was calling you first. Do you, do you think we just ought to go get a pallet of pea gravel and, and about 25, 30 bells of pine straw and let's just do that real quick with them? That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, you just haul ass and do that, and then I'll tell Eduardo. I'm going to find out how much he charged me on the house, and I'm going to get on his ass. Yeah. I think it'll look better. I really do. It looks bad. So I'm thinking just a, a straight line coming off of that fence to that. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. All right, buddy. I'm rolling back. Thanks, bye. So uh, on the pea gravel, we uh, called the um, landscaper back out and he came and added some more. And Courtney went back over there and was real happy with how that looked. So we went live that weekend and got multiple offers and it went under contract for list price. And it closed about five weeks later and, um, and the house is off the books. I don't know if I want to buy a house that is on butt woods. You mean with this nasty wood wall? Yeah, you don't like that wall? Absolutely not. So this right here is a freaking disaster. This is the kind of house that if you're brave enough to buy and you do it right, you can make a killing on it. 